Good afternoon. I'm Gordon Burns. Welcome to Northwest Today. The headlines this Friday lunchtime. Forcing out the ordinary fans. Manchester United under fire from the sports minister for high ticket prices. The sports minister, Jerry Sutcliffe, has accused Manchester United of pricing its fans out of the game. Mr Sutcliffe, who is a United fan himself, was speaking at a sport industry summit. The club have rejected his comments, but some fans have welcomed them. Helen Brown has the details. They're the league champions, but watching this at Old Trafford could set you back up to £44 for one match and up to £846 for a season ticket. This man thinks those prices are too high. Jerry Sutcliffe has been sports minister for just three months. He told a sports industry summit that the some players' wages across the Premier League are obscene and that tickets, for which he singled out Manchester United, are too expensive. What we're seeing there is that the season ticket prices at Manchester United have gone up automatically and additional games have been included in that, so the, the fan hasn't got a choice. And it means you know people on low incomes not being able to get to games. United have rejected his claims and point out that some tickets are £25, with juniors and seniors tickets coming in at just £10 and £20. They say they do not believe this prices their fans out of the game and the 10,000 rejections for applications to buy tickets for each Premier League home game is an indication their pricing is regarded as fair by the paying public. But some United fans are backing Mr Sutcliffe's comments. Well, I think that the government should go further. There should be regulation because effectively each football club is a monopoly. And when you compare the prices of the Premiership clubs in relation to the rest of football and the other major European clubs, I think there's a great case that the, the ticket prices should be reduced because in comparison to these other clubs in Europe, the, the prices in the Premiership are astronomical. Today, the sports minister has been criticised by the PFA for his comments about players' wages, but is refusing to retract his comments about that or about ticket prices. Helen Brown, Northwest Today. Can we just ask you the, your views on the sports minister's comments about players' wages being obscene? Well, I mean, first of all, I think that you have to put things in perspective. There are some tennis players, some golfers, uh, earning enormous amounts of money. Now, is that wrong? Because it's an individual, you say that he deserves to um, be paid the best because he's playing in tournaments where creating a lot of money and a lot of interest, television, sponsorships, all that type of thing. But when it becomes a team, because it's such a more of a national game, a royal game, I think football without question is the biggest sport in the world. And because it's a team then it's very easy to say footballers have paid too much. I would agree that in some cases there are some of them paid too much. But I'm sure there's one or two tennis players that get great sponsorship deals that can't win a tournament. You know, so it's uh, six and a half a dozen if you know in that respect. What I do object to um, the sportsmen that come out with the stuff about ticket pricing and Manchester, single out Manchester United. I thought it was unfair, I thought it was inaccurate because as we all know, the prices with Arsenal and Chelsea are up to obscene. If you want to talk about obscene, and, and that's what it says about Manchester United, or worse to that effect, uh, because they're almost double their prices. So he's down in London. He works down in London. I'm sure. I'm sure he knows where Arsenal and Chelsea is. I'm sure he's, he's, he knows where the, the grounds are. And I'm sure he must know where the ticket prices. So I don't understand why he's picking out Manchester United, considering, uh, in particular of the, the difference between the prices that the two grounds have, have mentioned. Well, maybe because he criticised John Terry and felt he had to drag in Manchester United. Oh, that's great. He's a United fan, that's what it is. He's a United fan, that's what it is. He's a United fan. He's a United fan. He also can't afford to come here. Tell, he'll know they're coming back again. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be along with that mob of the United FC. You can go and watch them. Along with you. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, good night.